Welcome back to the course, Engineering Data Analysis. We will resume with our topic discussion on obtaining data. This is lecture number uh, three. We will now be discussing about uh, variables, well, expounding on uh, the variables that we have earlier discussed, because while it, it uh, we are uh, we have already classified variables. Uh, there's still a, a much bigger or more important classification to it. Uh, we have discussed what is data and how to obtain them. Along the way, uh, we have used uh, in uh, this uh, terms data and variable uh, interchangeably. Uh, in research, variables will contain data of concern. So it is the data itself. We have classified variables as either qualitative or quantitative, categorical or numerical. Uh, in this lecture, we will tackle the variable classifications in terms of their use uh, in studies. And these are uh, independent, in, uh, dependent and control. What are these? We are going to discuss them. Independent, independent variables are variables that's standing on their own and are unaffected by activities or events in a study. They are called independent uh, because they uh, there are no other variables uh, affecting them. They can also be called explanatory variables, exposure variables in uh, reliability uh, theory, input variables, manipulated variables, uh, predictor variables, regressors in regression analysis, or risk factors in uh, medical analysis, uh, stati statistics, sorry. Uh, we will be focusing on explanatory and predictor variables later, because while these terms are interchangeable, there are subtle differences among them. Uh, the dependent variables, okay, the second type, are variables that can be changed by outside or external factors, the independent variables. They're also known as response variables, Y variables, because they are plotted in the Y axis, criterion variables or outcome variables, because uh, it's still to be known if changes in the independent variables are associated with changes in the response of this uh, dependent variables. The control, the third type, are variables that are kept con constant in a study. The control setup of a study is very helpful to predict if an independent variable indeed had a significant effect to a dependent uh, variable. Okay, we, we, I said that we are going to focus on uh, the explanatory and the predictor variables. They have their counterparts on the dependent side, the response and uh, criterion are respectively. The explanatory variable is a type of independent variable made to explain the effects to a response variable. Uh, where, while the explanatory variable is also called an independent variable, a difference exists because at times variables are not fully independent. In fact, uh, in explanatory variables, they are they can be uh, mutually inclusive, meaning uh, two, two variables with a relationship affects a third variable. The two variables are not certain to be independent of each other or in themselves but it can explain together a third variable or its response. Example would be uh, fast food and carbonated drinks causing uh, weight gain. The former two are explanatory to the response weight gain. Uh, the explanatory variable can be made to explain the uh, response, but in the case of 
fast food and carbonated drinks, they are not mutually exclusive. So they are mutually inclusive. They have a relationship. Why? Because uh, in the case of fast food, they could not be separated with uh, carbonated drinks. If you buy fast food, often you are offered a carbonated drink of your choice or your, or it's the default drink to a fast food me, uh, menu item. As well as uh, if you buy a carbonated drinks or drink uh, in the supermarket or, or a uh, sari sari store or a grocery store, beside that is a fast food item. Predictor variables are not entirely explaining the response or output, but merely predicting the results or criterion variable. Uh, this is best explained by, uh, an, by empirical equations. And what are empirical equations? These are equations derived from experiments and well, the relationship established, but uh, it could not be as direct as, as they can be. We have here an example of an empirical equation, Manning's equation for uh, open channel flows. It is an age old equation in open channel hydraulics. The equation is empirical in that uh, the relationships of the variables were derived experimentally, leading to the coefficient constant 1.49 for English units. Because in, in the metric, this is 1. So I'm, I'm showing the, the, the English because it's more appreci appreciable to uh, look at a constant that is not 1. So the cross-sectional area in, is in square feet hydraulic radius in feet, slope of the channel at the point of measurement in uh, feet per feet. So these are uh, variables that are made to predict or compute the flow in an open channel. The relationship is not direct, okay? as in the formulae in electrical systems, such as uh, V is equal to IR from your uh, electricity, okay, or electromagnetics, and also from uh, in power systems, P is equal to IV. Thus, in this equation, okay, based on experiments, they found that a constant is always appearing, and they made it a constant coefficient 1.49, and there's another constant there, okay? The surface roughness, which is also dimensionless. And it depends on the roughness of the uh, channel, of the surface of the uh, channel, open channel. Well, the, the formula has been uh, proven theoretically and even by dimensional analysis, but it does not remove the notion that it remains uh, empirical and that the geometric, uh, the geometric uh, co properties and the physical conditions of the channel are used to predict or compute for the flow rate of the water of the the, the liquid. Okay. So A, R, and S are the predictor variables, and there remains well there there remains an unknown factor or variable to predict the flow. But since the equation works uh, effectively, there is no need to replace it in the time being. The flow rate Q is a dependent variable under the supposition or hypothesis that it depends on some law. Well, it's unknown. Okay, the law or rule are based, are using the values of uh, independent variables A, R, and S. Another example of predictor variables are those of 
yeah, predictor and then uh, uh, criterion variable are those of drawing equations, which are also empirical in nature. Usually, regression is used to predict the uh, relationships of temperature, uh, air velocity, uh, yeah, uh, relative humidity to the drying rate of crops such as rice or coconut meat. So we have discussed uh, the types of the different uh, variables used in studies. And so we will now proceed to the ne next lecture, which is on uh, uh, probability, where we will be discussing random variables and the concept of uh, relationships of events, such as the mutual inclusivity, mutual exclusivity, and independence. And that is uh, a continuation of the variables that we have been discussing here. Thank you, and I will be uh, seeing you there. <laughs>